Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy and this is the number 11 short format chew review. This is Chew Review Part 2 and in this edition we will be taking a look at Beach Nut Original. So let's take a look at the packaging. So you have a standard 3 net weight ounce bag with flap and Ziploc. The Ziploc should be engaged, alright? Basically the same on both sides. One side having the flap. Special offer being denoted underneath it. All right. As for date code, don't know what they mean. Don't need to know what they mean because I tell by this. And this is good. But if you were interested in date codes, underneath an American is the code it is punched on that side above flavor saver all right so as i said it is about the same on both sides on the bottom you have a barcode you have the fact that it is made by or distributed by national tobacco this one is probably also made by um which is now known as turning point brands if you want to look them up online turning point brands underage sale prohibited then you have sale only allowed in the united states and the domestic leaf count so the domestic is no less than 56 percent and the far no more than 44 percent so it's pretty even cut well, that's about in line with swisher swisher chew products and then call number down the bottom, all right? So National Tobacco are the people that distribute Stokers. They have Beech Nut, Big Mountain, Appalachian, etc. So fold it over and we'll see how many glue dots. There's probably three and three, I'm guessing. One, two, three, and one, two, and the dot machine was the bag was a little offset so it's three and two on this it's probably should be three and three that said the ziploc is clean it is engaged with these you want them engaged okay it's not like a pound bag of stokers where the top seam is a sealed seam all right if the ziploc when this is not engaged then only thing standing between the product and the outside air is a number of glue dots and that's just not good enough so holy crap popping it open <laughs> it's an original smell which is what this is as the name somewhat implies it is an original chew it is very dark, liberally treated. It is medium moisture. It's going to be tacky to the touch. And it is. Um, it's going to be fairly soft stuff. All right. There's going to be some blonde highlights, but it, I mean, there's a lot of translucent in between with me having it in between me and the uh, desk lamp here. It's a stringy cut, all right? There are no stems. There may be some secondary, like, leaf veins, all right? So I'm going to throw some in and then hit the pause button. But not the stop button. And I am back. Okay, so what you have is basically a mellow original all right raisins molasses the molasses is there but this does not have the bite the the edge flavor wise as let's say red man original all right and it's sort of meant to be that way all right the, the, if you look at old advertisements for beech nut some of them actually advertise that it's sort of a mellow, smooth, original chew, okay? Uh, if you check my playlist, Commercials of Old is the name of one of the playlists, 
and there should be at least one surviving beech nut commercial on there. So it's not supposed to be Red Man original. It's supposed to be an original, but not that something different something outside of it now as far as the brand the brand predates red man by five or six years all right so it's been around a long time now turning point brands formerly national tobacco has it now okay but this is one of those brand names that has switched hands many many times It is no longer connected to the people that are making baby food or the people separately from the baby food that had, until a number of years ago, been producing the chewing gum. Those have not been connected for probably decades and decades now. So the nicotine, as far as chew goes, is going to be much lower than Red Man, okay? but is probably on par or higher than, let's say, a Stoker's product. The packaging is nice. The product in the packaging is quality, okay? It, it's a, a, a smoother, mellow original. Liberally treated, smells like raisins, but it doesn't have the edge, and part of that, I think, may be that they, they've, they've taken the bitterness down a little bit, okay? So, I like it. I like the packaging. It's got an old-time feel to it. Flavor's good. Juice is up fine, all of that. Nicotine's a little bit lower, but to me, I don't notice nicotine in any chew except for some of those twists, all right? So, all in all, presentation of package, product in the package, flavor holds together, does take a little bit of chewing actually. It, it will take it without completely disintegrating your mouth. That it, It's all across the board, good marks, really. Uh, just for me, there's other things that I would take before this. But I always like revisiting it, let me put it that way. So this has been the review of Beech Nut Original Chewing Tobacco in the three net weight ounce bag. I am the Soon Tie Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.